As the Martian sun set on SOL-4, the team at Mars Explorer Hub Bro knew this was more than just another day in space exploration. It was a glimpse into the future. Rover Swarnass had achieved something extraordinary. It not only survived the harsh Martian environment, but also gathered vital data that would shape the path of every mission that follows. The discoveries of hydrated minerals, the stable terrain analysis, and the flawless operation of Swarnass's navigation and robotic systems became a blueprint for future explorers. Every movement, every photo, every chemical scan from SOL Strange formation found on Mars, tree or rock, or told scientists one thing, that Mars is not a distant dream anymore, it's a destination. The findings from this single soul helped engineers design more efficient rovers, stronger wheel systems. Shiny black rocks lie silent on the crimson Martian ground each one reflecting light from a distant sun. Their dark glow stands in bold contrast to the red dust, whispering tales of fire, time, and an ancient world long gone, and more adaptive sensors capable of surviving extreme Martian nights. Swarnass's success inspired renewed confidence in developing human-assisted missions where astronauts may one day walk on the same soil that Swarnass rolled over. What makes Sol 4 truly legendary is not just what it revealed about Mars, but what it proved about us, humanity's unbreakable spirit of discovery. From a quiet control room on Earth to the silent red plains of another world, the mission reminded us that progress is built one soul at a time. Future rovers and even manned expeditions will trace their roots back to the lessons learned on SOL-4. So when future explorers set foot on Mars, planting their boots into the dusty soil beneath a pink sky, they'll be standing on the foundation laid by rover Swarnass. SOL-4 will be remembered as the day our curiosity became courage, the moment we turned exploration into legacy. And here at Mars Explorer Hub Bro, we'll keep following that dream. One mission, one discovery, and one soul at a time. Mars, the fourth planet from the sun, has fascinated humans for thousands of years. It shines like a bright red star in the night sky, easily seen even without a telescope. But why is it so red? Why do scientists and astronomers around the world call it the Red Planet? The answer lies in its soil, atmosphere, and chemical composition. The surface of Mars is covered with fine dust and rocks that contain a large amount of iron. Millions of years ago, the surface of Mars had iron-rich minerals, just like those found on Earth. Over time, these minerals reacted with small amounts of oxygen present in the Martian atmosphere and surface. The result was the formation of iron oxide, the same material we call rust here on Earth. It is this rust that gives Mars its beautiful reddish-brown color. When sunlight hits the planet, the iron oxide dust reflects red light back into space, making the planet appear red when seen from Earth. In reality, the surface of Mars isn't completely red, if you stood there, you'd see shades of orange, brown, golden, and tan, with a thin layer of red dust floating in the air. But from far away, the reflection of that dust makes the entire planet glow with a red hue, earning it the nickname, the Red Planet. Mars's atmosphere also plays a role in its appearance. The air on Mars is very thin and filled with fine dust particles. When strong winds blow, sometimes forming huge dust storms that can last for months, these particles spread all around the planet. This floating dust scatters sunlight in such a way that the entire sky looks reddish or pinkish, especially during sunrise and sunset on Mars. Even robotic missions, like NASA's Curiosity and Perseverance rovers, have captured stunning images of red skies and dusty horizons. The red color of Mars has also shaped its place.
place in human culture and mythology. Thousands of years ago, people observed Mars as a shining red dot in the night sky. Because red reminded them of blood and war, ancient civilizations named it after their gods of war. The Romans called it Mars, the Greeks called it Ares, and the Babylonians called it Nergal. Each of these names connected the planet to strength, conflict, and power. So even long before telescopes and space missions, humans associated Mars's red glow with passion, danger, and energy. In modern times, scientists have studied Mars in detail through satellites, telescopes, and rovers. They discovered that the entire planet is like a rusted desert covered in red dust that sticks to everything from rocks to spacecraft wheels. That's why whenever NASA sends a rover, it always comes back coated with a thin layer of Martian rust. Interestingly, Mars wasn't always as red as it looks today. Billions of years ago, scientists believed that Mars had rivers, lakes, and maybe even oceans. Its surface might have been darker and wetter back then. But as the planet lost most of its atmosphere and water, the iron on its surface began to react with what little oxygen remained slowly forming the red rust that now defines the planet. So the redness of Mars is not just about color. It's a story of time, transformation, and chemistry. It tells us how a once blue world turned into a red desert under the endless sky. It also reminds us that even though Mars looks lifeless today, it still holds clues about the history of our solar system and perhaps the possibility of life beyond Earth. In conclusion, Mars is called the Red Planet because of the iron oxide dust that covers its surface and reflects red light. This simple scientific fact connects with thousands of years of human wonder, mythology, and discovery. Mars's red glow has guided explorers, inspired scientists, and continues to remind us that our universe is full of beauty and mystery waiting to be understood.